Okay, hey all YouTube viewers, Jason Dominator back, making another part two to the Maverick tutorial for Penguin Friend 4. And this time, I'm, well, this this part I'm going to show you, or show him for that matter, how to um, reassemble the Maverick so it goes function properly without it breaking. Okay, as you can tell, I'm left off in the same stage I was when I, when I put, turned the video off last time. All my screws and everything are in the same exact spots and everything from where I left them last. So... Okay, I'm obviously going to have to put down everything, but I'm going to tell you what to do before I actually do it. Okay, so obviously you're not going to have darts in here, most likely. So, what you do is where I put that one piece. Oh, shit. Okay, right here. Okay, you need to put all these orange knobs back on to the, the holes, like put them over it. And then you're going to, wait a second, I got to do something real fast, sorry. I got to poke the darts out of my barrel because it's going to be kind of hard to put it back together that way. Okay, now that that's done, sorry about that. Um, now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this, flip it upside down, and then you make sure you align these little holes, the screw ports, with the other screw ports on the gun. And then once you do that, it should look somewhat like this. Where you can obviously see, you can see the old peg rods, it's like that in all barrels. And then you're going to take your screws that came from the barrel, or not barrel, it doesn't really matter. And then you're going to obviously screw them in place. So it's going to be kind of hard for me to do it with one hand, but. Okay. I, I'm not going to need to show you because you're not an idiot, but I'm going to do that real fast. So you need to put them in three different spots. So yeah. Wait one second. Once you get done screwing it together, then you gotta, uh, oh, I'm gonna show you, just make it, I'm gonna show you, but when you're done screwing them in, make sure they're nice and tight so you don't get any air leakage out of your gun, and you're gonna take that metal rod, which I'm gonna show you, obviously, once I finish this, turn it back in, and then your Maverick should function properly once I show you how to put it together. Doesn't, then you'll see on camera why mine doesn't, and I'll tell you why. If you have any questions about why it's not working, you can obviously contact me. And I'll be glad to help you. Like I'm assisting this one kid. Penguin Friend 4. Okay. Once you finish screwing it in like I just did. Okay. I just finished screwing it in now. You put an either screw there, obviously. There, obviously. And then there. Make sure they're semi-tight not tight enough where it'll freaking break the plastic, obviously. Okay. Then this is also an important part I learned. You need to make sure the spring side, the spring part, the actual whole part of the plastic that doesn't come off, goes on the side with a big piece of gray plastic. The big piece, not the small piece. And then it should flop right through there. And then there you go. Then you need to take this piece. Doesn't matter what direction it goes on. Well, it needs to go like that, but it doesn't matter if it goes on like that or that. It could go however. Then you take this piece. And then you need to take a hammer. Of some sort and hit it on back in the right spot but obviously I can't because I'm on a carpet so I'm gonna go do that real fast and I'll come back and show you Okay, I just did that. I dropped it. That's why it took me so long. Obviously, I'm pretty sure you saw me go over there and pick it out the spring out of my bushel, but whatever. Okay, I did that, and it should look like that, so it's nice and tight. So that's so that's all you need to do for the barrel. And then for this part, you need to make sure you have a spring in the catch. If you don't have a spring in the catch, your catch isn't going to function properly. So you need to put it just right in there, which needs to go attach to that little piece right there. And it's going just like that. And then your catch will function properly because that will hit it and it'll make your catch work. And move the catch and then it'll release this, which will make it go. Obviously, they need to put your spring there and that there. Do not mess with this. This you don't need to mess with. I mean, yes, there's paint on mine, obviously. 
then if you want to leave this on, you're more than welcome to. And then here comes the the, the cocking the voice part that I that I do. I like to leave this on, and I find it relatively easy. The way I do it is I need my screwdriver for a second. What I do is I wait a second. Okay, now I got it. What I do with the talking to voice is I obviously crap. Wait a second, folks. Okay, now that I got the spring, sorry about that. I got the spring now. And then what I do is I take that bra and I put it over it, which I'm gonna do right now. So yeah. I Put it like the cocking muscle like you normally would. Make sure the metal rod's in front of the plunger head or the plunger barreling or whatever. And you put it right over. You put it right back over the metal rod. So when you cock it, it will sling back forward because the spring caused it to do that. Make sure the metal rod is right in like right in front of this black piece right there. And then that's the way I find it easiest just to do it. There's other ways, but this is the way I find the easiest. Then you put that back like that. And then, then you take this piece. Oh, yeah, I, whoopsies, I forgot the barrel. Okay, not bad about that, folks. Sorry about that. Then you take, you make it where those two rods, that rod right there and that one right there, those two rods sit right there and right there. And we'll do that right now. Wait a second. Okay, there's like that. Those rods are right there and right there. So, yeah, you make sure it's properly aligned in the gear. That makes the barrel rotate, obviously. You don't need to unscrew the trigger at all, so don't mess with that. Okay, now what you do is obviously you take the lid and plop it back on where it goes. Make sure it closes with no force. If it obviously closes with force, then something's wrong. And then what I like to do is because I like to save those things, I don't use it. So it makes the gun look better. I put it on like this. I put it back on where it's obviously you need to keep the spring for it because that's the way the tactical rail works. You want to keep using the tactical rail. So once you do that like that, you got to put it back on like that. Well, you got to make sure you get the screw port before you put the cocking device back on. So yeah, I'm going to get that screw port real fast and then. I'm going to probably just put like one or two screws in the main gun and then I'm going to fire it just so you can see it works. Okay. I screwed that in and then you should be all right to put the cocking device back on, which I'm going to do right now. You gotta try to get the all uh, the holes aligned, like the the part that holds the metal rod aligned with the cocking device, so the metal rod don't fall in the middle, like inside your gun. That happened to me once. Okay, I did that. Now I'm gonna put one screw in there, just like I show you for you real fast. So I'm gonna put one in there. I'm gonna put one in the main gun, just so it don't come apart on me. I'm trying to fire it for you. Okay, I have nine minutes left, or one minute left, my bad. Nine minutes on the clock, though. Okay, once you do that, okay, you should have two things. You should have your barrel be able to come out like this, obviously, and plop back into place, nice and easy, all the way like that, pressing the button, and then you should have... This, I'm gonna load it real fast and shoot it for you. One, two, three. Okay, I cocked it and I'm getting ready to shoot it now. There you go, see? It fired properly and my time's about up. So yeah. Penguin friend, I hope this video helped you, and this is Jason Dominer saying, peace out.